Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Nicole, passionately promoting positivity. And today I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been going through with just my thoughts about my channel and the future of this brand, especially as 2020 is wrapping up. We only have a few days left. I just wanted to kind of share what I'm thinking I'll have in store for next year. So for one, this year I did change the direction of my simply nicole brand and really what i want my brand to stand for and what i want to influence and teach people about on youtube originally i was just doing i'm not gonna say just but originally i was doing makeup videos fashion and just random entertaining videos but it wasn't anything that really brought me joy it didn't really fulfill me but um personally I did a lot of internal work this year. A lot of internal work that I didn't even realize I was doing. I didn't realize that I was investing in myself by doing that. I just loved seeking new knowledge every day and gaining knowledge every day and growing, but I didn't realize it was really an investment and that it was gonna benefit me in the long run. But it really brought me so much peace. It brought me so much security and allowed my vision to just be clearer. And that's really what brings me happiness and it's really what I do want to teach people on is how I just kind of changed who I am um, just through how I kind of I don't even know how to explain it but just how I changed my lifestyle I changed the music that I listen to I changed what I focus on and I just changed my mindset and my thoughts and it really really was a work in progress it, it took a year and I'm not done but it's just been so beautiful it's been just an amazing journey and I really want people to know that about me and know that about my story and I want to teach and inspire others to to do the same and I think just me coming on camera being who I am is enough sometimes to inspire those that watch so being that I changed my brand of my channel I have gained a lot of supportive people I will say that a lot of nice followers a lot of you guys comment on every video a lot of you guys like my pictures, like every video, and I see you guys and thank you guys so much. One thing I can say though is that I also lost a lot of people. And not that it matters, but it did affect my ability to stay driven to upload videos on this new personal development topic because I was only able to even upload 20 or so new videos, which is not good at all. Terrible slack, like slack, slack. Faith without works is dead and where's the work? I'm asking myself, where's the work? Because 20 videos over the last couple of months is just, it's not showing that I really want this and I really, really do want this. And so it's my goal to just not focus on who I'm losing because I can show you guys right now, I literally lose subscribers every single day. Um, and it can get, it can get discouraging, but first of all, you know, if people don't want to subscribe to something that's going to help them, inspire them, then that's, that's them. I just pray for you and that's it. But, you know, this is bigger than YouTube. It's bigger than views. It's bigger than likes. I've already said that. This has to do with, first of all, this has to do with, you know, on a deeper level, what my purpose is. And then besides that, you know, there's businesses that come from this, streams of income, a lot of things. So YouTube is only just one avenue. It's not everything, Okay. You know, I think sometimes I get in my head like YouTube is everything and I have to be famous on YouTube and it's not everything. As long as I continue to do my work and do my part, then I'm doing it and God will take care of the rest. So, you know, as far as 2021 is concerned, I do plan on uploading these videos a lot more. Um, like I said, it got discouraging because I was losing people and it also got discouraging and doubtful for me because I am just young and I, there's a lot of things that I really want to teach about because there's things that I know and understand now but I can't really share from personal experience because you know I'm still in college yes I'm about to graduate but haven't really done much as far as relationships and work life I mean I just I just don't know it a lot like I haven't experienced a lot and it's better to teach in my opinion I like to learn from those who have experienced things and not just know things so I felt like I don't really know. I mean, I, I felt like I haven't really experienced a lot. Who's really going to listen to me? But like I said, just me showing up on here, I think it's just a start. And, you know, it's enough for now. 
Also, um, <laughs> I think that's it. Also, next year, I do plan on getting a life coach because I want to be a life coach one day. I say I want to be a life coach next year. By next year, I want to be a certified life coach. Um, but let me stop spinning around in the chair. But next year, I want to have booked my first session with a life coach. I want to have my first therapy sessions. And I want to be able to share those experiences on this channel and just grow from there. And I mean grow on the inside. The last thing I want to talk about is just my vlog channel that I never really officially announced or anything. But I did start a vlog channel. And when I first started that, you know, I was uploading every day for about two weeks. And I still upload, if not every day, every other day. But that's something that you can always depend on me to be showing up on there. Because I literally just, every day I upload there. Because it's kind of a way for me to work on something when I do get unmotivated for the main channel. It's kind of a way for me to say, okay, I'm not filming on my main channel, but I still have my vlog channel. So I'm still doing something. Um, but I just heard my um, family come back in the house. So I'm just going to wrap this video up. But thank you guys for listening to just me kind of reflect on 2020. I want to make this video quick. And I'm just excited for 2021. And I can't wait for what's in store. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for keeping me in your prayers. I keep you guys in my prayers. Um, this is an amazing community and I'm grateful for you all and I love y'all and I'll see y'all later.